Hey everybody, welcome to my video on calculating growth rates and on the rule of 70. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably learning some macroeconomics right now, uh, but maybe some other things. We're gonna have like a before and an after and see how things change. For instance, what if your GDP in year one is $1,000 and your GDP in year two is $1,050? What is the growth rate between these time period, between these two years? Well, here's what you do with the growth rate of any variable. You take your new x minus your old x divided by your old x, and then multiply it by 100 to put it in percentage terms. So if our x, our variable we're interested in is GDP, we would say your new GDP as GDP2 minus your old GDP divided by your old GDP times 100. Let's see, that's equal to 1050 minus 1,000 divided by 1,000 times 100 is equal to 5, which we interpret as being 5%. Uh, what if we'd had a third year and GDP was 1155? Well, to calculate your growth between year 2 and 3, you would take your new minus your old over your old times 100 would be 1155 minus 1050 divided by 1050 times 100 which can come out to be 105 over 1050 so that's going to be a 10% increase in GDP now, it doesn't just have to be GDP. That's why I started by calling it X, because I could do something different. I could say, well, what if your CPI in one year is 120? We'll call it year one, and we say CPI in the next year is 132. Well, how do you find the growth rate in your CPI, also known as your inflation? Well, if you're calculating inflation, the growth rate in prices, you take your new CPI 2 minus your old CPI 1 divided by your old CPI 1 times 100. And this one's going to come out to be 10% also. I'm cherry picking some easy ones just because I want to show you a process more than actual like angry examples. Uh, it doesn't just have to be CPI either. We could talk about population growth rate. We could say your population in one year is 10,000 people. And population the next year is equal to 10,200 people. You're, if you wanted to calculate your population growth rate, you'd say pop two minus pop one over pop one times 100. Let's see, that's 10,200 minus 10,000 over 10,000 times 100, that's going to come out to be 2%. All right, pretty repetitive. It's the same structure every time. New minus old over old times 100. New minus old time, divided by old times 100. New minus old over old. New minus old over old. New minus old over old. It's all the same thing. So look at this equation long and hard. The growth rate of X, whatever the X, GDP, CPI, population, anything you want, the growth rate of X is new minus old over old times 100. Okay, now let's pivot a little bit. Let's talk about the rule of 70. The rule of 70 is just a little like rule of thumb to help us get some approximations of how important a growth rate is. And here's what it is. It's the number of years to double is equal is approximately equal to 70 divided by your growth rate. Now, just for the sake of having some shorthand, I'm going to call this D, the number of years to double, equals 70 over G, G being the growth rate. So if, for instance, our GDP was growing at 2, if we had a growth rate of 2% per year, then I would expect my economy, my GDP per capita, 
to be, let's see, it would double every 70 divided by two equals 35. It would take approximately 35 years for GDP per capita to double. Let's do another example. Let's say we have some inflation and prices are rising 5% a year. What do we, how long is it gonna take for the price of everything to double? Doubling is 70 over five is 14 years. After about 14 years, we would expect prices to be double what they were. And we can also do this a different way. For instance, if I were to say that real GDP had doubled over a period of 20 years, I could give you a ballpark estimate of the growth rate. I would say 20 is equal to 70 over G, and then solve for G. G is equal to 70 over 20 is going to be equal to 3.5. So if it took 20 years to double, I would estimate that the growth rate was about 3.5% during that 20 years. This rule is simple, and it's not exact, but it's a good rule of thumb to help you make quick judgments about how important a growth rate is. With a 2% growth rate, every 35 years, things should approximately double. With a 10% growth rate, it would only take seven years for everything to double in price. And so it just depends, but this is something that sometimes comes up in these classes, and it helps you to get some sort of understanding of what these numbers mean. So I hope this is helpful to you. I know it's just math, we didn't actually talk about much econ, but that's okay too. Sometimes the math is hard for people. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck. Happy econing.